I'm part of the global recruiting team here at Sonotype. I actually lead the team here, and we were lucky enough to be um, in the presence of some pretty amazing folks here on the line today. Hiring is definitely an important part of our organization and something you know, that we value people here. So our entire product leadership has opted to jump in and join today's session to share a little bit more about Sonotype, why the work that we do here is so interesting, and share with you a little bit about some of the positions that we're hiring for right now and some of the tools and technology and the culture that we have here. Um, so I'm gonna help try and moderate the session, if you will. I do believe it's being recorded so we can share out afterwards to the attendees. Um, maybe to kick things off, I would like to see if Brian Fox, if you'd like to give an introduction of yourself and maybe share with the folks on the line a little bit about the company. Sure, thanks Darcy. Uh, my name is Brian Fox. I'm one of the co-founders and CTO here. Um, you know, my background is in software development and open source. I was active on the Apache Maven project and was a PMC chair for many years. Uh, when we founded the company back in 2007, we were focused a lot on the Maven ecosystem, uh, helping companies modernize their build uh, infrastructure, um, moving from things like Ant and make files and, and, and those types of things. And <clears throat> early on, we saw companies struggling with how do they manage um, those dependencies. And, and uh, we saw many horrifying practices, frankly, that really uh, ran counter to what development needed to be able to produce high quality software. And, and over the years, we kind of moved into an area to understand that that, that was a problem that really needed to be solved and have spent, you know, probably half the time since 2007 uh, working in that direction. So trying to provide uh, tooling and data to help developers choose better open source components and be aware of uh, the security and legal and quality ramifications. Um, so that's that's kind of the high high level overview where we came from and and what we're working on. Awesome, thank you, Brian. Um, next up, I was going to see if Mike, if you wanted to jump in and share a little bit about um, some of the work that we're doing around innovation and the new products that we are going to be launching. Sure thing. Uh, I may call a little bit of an audible there. Brian's entirely too humble. Uh, <laughs> I met Brian about nine years ago and already Sonatype had started changing the way the world developed software. And frankly, it was really impressive with Maven and it was really early and, and we had the repository manager, binary repository manager. Um, uh, and that was starting to, to uh, get a lot of traction as well, but that also changed the way the world developed software. And so if you're interested in helping shape the way the world develops software, um, our third uh, attempt at this um, is uh, the lifecycle product, uh, which I guess does speak to your question around uh, innovation, Darcy. So, you know, we're so much, the world uses so much open source now, being able to provide people with information that they didn't otherwise have I mean, the way that people select the software, uh, the open source they use now is generally a Google search or talking to somebody. Um, and I think uh, uh, we are just starting to chip away at, at what uh, people really need. We started with security and legal related stuff, but there's a whole, uh, a whole lot more there around quality and, and capability um, that we're starting to uh, uncover at this point. So really looking forward to where we're gonna be in the years ahead uh, around that. Awesome, thanks, Mike. Um, I know we've got uh, a lot of interesting work that's going on and creating even more exciting tools and technology for other developers to use. And Sono Sonotype's mission is really about being developer first and focused in everything that we do and the way that we make decisions and the products that we launch. So I think that core value that we have has been an awesome um, attribute and why we're able to attract other great talent here at Sonotype. Um, Sue, maybe you could introduce yourself and the role that you have here. I think you have prepared a few slides as well to share with the folks on the line. I have, and you should be able to see my screen now. Yes, we can. Great. Um, thank you for inviting us to All Things Open. My name is Sue Jasmine, and I'm the Director of Agile Coaching at Sonotype. 
I've been with the company working remotely for over five years, and we'll be talking a bit about our culture, how innovation is always top of mind, and how we successfully support a healthy and safe environment for collaboration and personal growth. Uh, while we have offices in a few states in the US, as well as London and Sydney for some core operations, our engineering and product teams have been working remotely for the entire history of the company. We embrace the remote culture, sharing what we love about where we live, our diversity, our personal insights, and our different backgrounds. We're especially proud of our recruiting and onboarding process that gets individuals comfortable before day one with the company, the product group, and their team, no matter what time zone they're in. Uh, remote culture with over 300 employees. One of the ways we get to know each other is through our over 100 SIG or special interest group channels in Slack. We've had an active women at Sonatype group for several years now, which has helped kicked off our diversity and inclusion conversation. We're never short on pet pictures, sharing parenting tips for homeschooling, supporting each other in feats of athletic endurance, like finishing a DECA triathlon in the UK or completing a DIY DEC project in, in Alaska. If you can't find something among these channels to pique your interest, we'll meet you in the lounge where you can share what's on your mind 24 seven. Uh, one of our support team members proved this perfectly this morning by being the first comment in the lounge, uh, tagging an article and sharing that he wanted to learn more about gravity. <laughs> When it comes to innovation, we've been recognized two years in a row by Fast Company Magazine. At Sonatype, innovation is every day and then some. Uh, so far in 2020, we've worked on over 500 projects beyond our day-to-day -day work as part of our biweekly improvement days and biannual innovation weeks. These no meeting days with demos give people a chance to work independently or collaborate across the company to find new ways to deliver value to our customers. But being an open source and community advocate, we don't stop there. We want to help you realize your, poten your potential as well and welcome you to submit your suggestions for innovations and improvements via our Sonatypes Ideas Portal. I'm sorry, Sue, did you say no meeting days? On, on improvement day, we have no meetings scheduled for that day so that people can focus on, on what they'd like to work on. That's pretty awesome. I don't know of any other company that really does anything like that. And it's every two weeks uh, for two quarters. So it's, it's considerable dedication to that. Yeah. And do you guys, during those innovation days, do you just focus on tech products or, are they, or is it innovation across the entire company? Like, how does that work? It could be some, it could be a tech product for our customers or for the company, and it can even be self improvement. Um, if you wanted to take an online class and improve your skills or read a book. Um, the only thing we ask is that there's some sort of outcome or artifact from that that is shareable so that other people can see what's going on mm -hmm. and uh, can possibly, you know, learn something new from you. I mean, the genesis of that was everything was being driven from the product management side early on, and I think it was maybe six six years ago, um, we said, what if we carved out a portion of time and let um, the individual contributors determine what was important? And so that's exactly what we did. And we've been doing it for six years uh, with very good uh, effect. Yeah, I like that sort of bottom up and top down approach where, you know, it's pretty much a flat organization. If you've got ideas, you've got a problem that you see that we can solve. It's really nice to know that you know, your voice is heard and you see an opportunity and you can create a solution. Doesn't matter if you're an entry level uh, intern with the company or if you're a part of senior leadership. Yeah, and to that flat organization notion, the idea is if you can reach across the entire company and engage with somebody on that day and spend time with them, you don't have to just be within your team. Yeah, I had somebody who joined recently that said, oh, I have to reach out to the head of engineering and introduce myself. I'm really nervous. Is that allowed? I said, yeah, absolutely. It's every door is open around here. Mm -hmm. so it's a unique culture in that. Yeah. And speaking of culture, staying connected. Um, you can have all the communication tools in the world, but they're useless unless people use them. So above all else at Sonatype, we pride ourselves on being transparent, empathetic, smart, and, and always learning team culture that welcomes new teammates 
with unlimited opportunities to contribute from every perspective. Um, Pre-COVID, teams would get together to kick off big projects and there were regularly scheduled company get-togethers. And we've even had Sonatype sponsored dinners for people who live nearby each other in different parts of the world. We still value that ability to connect in person again when the time is right. Uh, in the meantime, we're making remote work for us quite successfully as we have for the past 12 years. So we're, we're good at this. Yeah, that was pretty nice once COVID hit. Um, everyone switched to this new working from home and our product organization has always been 100% remote. So we actually shared some best practices across the company for certain areas who weren't already 100% remote, which was really nice to be able to leverage. Um, I also joined the introduction of the new Donut Buddies. Mm -hmm. It's kind of exciting. You get to get, get randomly selected once a month to partner up with somebody from a different part of the business. You get to choose how often you want to meet, what you want to talk about. Maybe it's coffee, maybe it's cocktails after work. You know, you guys figure out what works best for you, but it's a great way to learn about your teammates outside of just the project that you're working on. And I've really enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. That was a, a great presentation that you shared with us about the culture here at Sonatype. I know that's something that I've really enjoyed. Joining um, the team, everyone has this sense of community and collection here. And like I said, every door is open no matter what level you are within the company. Um, I think we have Dennison on the line. Is he still with us? Yes, I'm here, Darcy. All right, Dennison, do you wanna give a brief introduction of yourself and share a little bit about your area of the business? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Dennison Wright, the VP of Engineering here at Sonatype. I've been with the company just a little bit under four years and uh, I live in the Washington DC area. Um, so I guess, you know, a, a couple of things come to mind. It was great to hear uh, all of the folks that, that had a chance to speak before I did here. Uh, Sue talked about, uh, you know, culture. One of the aspects about culture that, that I think is really important are the, the set of values that, that will kind of influence how we behave in the organization. Um, you know, we, we spent some time crafting and, and documenting, uh, you know, more explicitly uh, our values uh, earlier this year. And I just wanted to kind of like, you know, uh, highlight a, a few of them here for the group. So we're looking for, uh, obviously, you know, we try to attract folks and, and, and all of those of us who are here already, um, you know, have a, a customer uh, focused mindset. We want to have an impact. We work in teams. So obviously look for people that like teamwork. Um, you know, we're looking for, for people who are pragmatists, uh, but also love their craft and are always looking to improve upon that. So, you know, have a mindset of continuous learning. Um, you know, we want people who care, who take ownership of things. And, and it's really amazing to see kind of like all of the folks that, that I've had a chance to work here over the past few years, you know, how kind of like a combination of all of those things have allowed people to really like increase their, uh, you know, scope of responsibility and impact in the organization as well. So kind of like people joining in whatever role, designer and engineer, product manager, and, you know, over time, you know, creating, you know, products or, or having very significant contribution to things that get used by potentially millions of people. Um, so that's really interesting to see. Um, and, and Darcy, I don't know if, if you have already covered or will cover kind of like some of the, the roles that we're looking to fill. Uh, if not, I can speak about that a little bit as well. If you want to speak about it, I can put up a screen which has some information related to that on there. Um, I think that would be good. Okay, yeah, fantastic. So Sonatype, uh, you know, I think uh, fortunately has kind of experienced a, a lot of growth in the last several years and continues to, to do so. And as we continue to expand the team, you know, we're looking to, to complement uh, the existing team that we have uh, to support, uh, you know, some existing products and teams that we have, as well as spinning up new ones to support new things that we want to bring to the market. Um, so, you know, like any typical product organization, uh, our teams are made up of cross-functional members and, and those typically uh, involve product management, you know, security researchers, uh, any uh, variety of engineers from front end, full stack, back end site reliability engineers, uh, as well as product designers, um, you know, just to name a few. 
Uh, obviously, we have to have the the appropriate support structure in the organization to you know support and, and organize uh, all of these members. Although we we really like to to be fairly hands off uh, with our you know managerial approach, but we're also looking for engineering managers. Uh, to to complement that, um, and I guess I'll let any of the other folks here on the call that represent different groups to uh, speak up about that. And and Rusty, I apologize. We're also looking for support engineers. Um, yeah, that's correct. We are we are definitely looking for support engineers as well. Um, and again, being a uh, a globally uh, placed company with uh, lots of diversity, I will be looking for. Uh, engineers in uh, the United States, as well as in EMEA, and as well as in Asia Pacific. Uh, and these are all coming up over the course of next year. And those will all be published, of course, on our uh, Sonotype websites. Thank you, Denison. Thanks, Rusty. Um, to that point, yes, we do have a few more positions that we're continuing to post out on our career website, which if you saw it on that last screen, it's sonatype.com slash careers. So you can go and find all of our positions. Um, we do have a lot of multiple positions while we did show them on that last screen. Maybe it's just listed once, so you might be hiring five or six of those types of roles. So don't be discouraged to get your name um, out there for one or two of the positions that you might be interested in. Um, Christine, I see that we have you on the line. Do you want to give a brief introduction of yourself and your role here at Sonatype and maybe share a little bit about um, the work that you and your team are doing? I know we've had you quite busy and we're excited to have your team continue to grow here. Yeah, hey, I'm Christine Curtis. Um, I run the design studio here at Sonatype. We currently have, oh uh, gosh, six product designers and a couple of engineers and a content creator, and we are uh, hiring next year um, pretty aggressively. We are looking for you know, more product designers, both junior and senior level. Um, and we are looking for some front end engineers, technology specialists, design technologists. Uh, it's got a lot of different names at a lot of different companies, but we're definitely looking for some of those engineers who like to get close with the design folks and build great UIs. We have been elevating our uh, customer experience here at Sonatype exponentially over the last couple of years, and we're looking to continue that great work. Uh, we're a diverse group over in the design studio. You know, if you can if you can think of a, an underrepresented minority, we probably have one. Uh, but we're also super friendly. Like you know, we talk about the uh, donut buddies and all that stuff. Design studio does its own stuff as well. We before COVID had offsites just for design studio folks. Um, and every Wednesday we have brunch, which seems completely ridiculous because none of us live even in the same state. Some of us don't even live in the same country. Uh, but every Wednesday morning, we just open a Zoom room and some people show up and some people don't. Just depends on what your calendar looks like. And we hang out and we eat and we chat uh, and come and go. And it's, it's a fun, low barrier way to kind of get to know each other and really bond. And, and those bonds really do come through in our work, you know. I didn't know about your brunch meeting, Christine. I feel like I want to join you guys now. <laughs> I'll send you the invite. Everybody's welcome. <laughs> awesome. um, well, thanks for sharing. Um, last but not least in the group, we do have um, Mike Griffin. So I'm just going to tee you up, but we do have a couple of quick questions that are coming through on the chat. So I may just throw out a couple of those while we have them. Um, it says support engineers are listed on our site, though it says there's travel 35% of the time and it's not remote. Is that correct? So I think, Rusty, that question is over to you. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'd be happy to address that. Um, so in this case, you know, our commitment to customer success uh, from a company standpoint is is broad. Um, every organization within Sonotype is responsible for uh, the successful deployment and use. The, the particular position that you're referring to, the customer success engineer, is in our customer success group and is a very complementary role but slightly different role from product support. Mm -hmm. So a customer success engineer is somebody that owns the relationship with the customer. Uh, they are typically engaged after the deal has been made and a customer is officially part of our family now. Uh, and they work with that customer on a regular basis to ensure that A, they're successful with the use of the product, that we are aware of their planned use, both current and future of the product, uh, so that we can make sure we're in alignment 
and help them uh, make sure they're using the right products, the right solutions and using them in the right way. That role does travel some, at least it did <laughs> traditionally. Right now, there's not a whole lot of travel going on as everyone knows, uh, but that role would travel some. You would go to some on sites with customers and meet with the customers. Uh, it's slightly different than the product support role where we have the same goal to make customers successful, although it's much more traditional in the product support in that we typically are more reactive and are responding to uh, inquiries that are coming in through our support channels. So at the, uh, the moment, I don't believe there's any product support roles uh, being advertised on the site. Like I said, those are coming. Uh, there will be multiple ones of those in multiple regions. Uh, and if that is your interest, though, I would encourage you to still reach out to us uh, and raise your hand early uh, as we will be looking uh, for very, very, uh, uh, we're going to be looking pretty hard for people on that. Uh, it's a very difficult role in our organization, uh, but it's one that I think people can rise to the challenge and we have the tools and the training to support that person. Uh, I'll take a minute to just explain that if you are thinking about that support role, that product support role. It's ideal for somebody that loves a challenge, uh, likes working on many different technologies, uh, likes problem solving, of course, and has a strong sense of customer empathy. Uh, the staff that I have is very tenured. Uh, in fact, several of the people have been with me for many, many years. Uh, and we take a lot of pride in the work that we do and in making customers successful. So that's a high level difference between the customer uh, success engineer and the product support engineer. Like I said, we work together all the time. Uh, most of my staff knows the CSEs by name and vice versa. Uh, we enjoy working with them. And again, the end goal is just to make sure that our customers are successful with the solutions they've deployed. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that feedback, Rusty. I think that's helpful for the folks that are on the line here today. Um, and to that extent, I mentioned at the beginning, we are going to be sending out um, this presentation afterwards. But in addition to the full recording, we're also going to include some links to um, our job site. So you'll be able to keep your eye out on positions that we have coming up. Um, if you have a particular position that you're interested in that maybe you just don't see it yet, and we commented on it here today, um, we'll give you a few contact names and email addresses so you'll be able to follow up with folks directly. Um, like I said, we are continuing to grow quite significantly um, over the next year. We're Right now, we're about 350, 360 people globally. Um, we're going to hire another 60 plus people within the next three months. So we are continuing to rapidly grow. Um, a lot of positions, like I said, are continuing to come online as we're chatting. Um, if you guys have other questions, feel free to drop them in the chat channel. We'll be happy to answer them as we um, continue on the discussion here. I think we have about till 345 Eastern time for the total session. So we have about another 20 minutes or so if there are additional questions. Um, Darcy, I think you might have just answered it, but there was a question about uh, in the next six months, how many engineers do we expect to hire? And is there a headcount uh, that we're targeting and scaling to? I believe you just answered that, but want to make sure that uh, it was in the phrase of about the six month time frame. Yeah, so over course. the next six months, I don't have that number off the top of my head. I have until about December. Dennis and Mike, do you guys have the number for the next six months? Um, I, don't, I don't have the exact number, but I don't know that that's uh, critically important. Yeah. I, I think that the, the key factor here is, is that we're working to scale as fast as we can effectively scale, you know, finding the right people. Uh, along the way. But as Dar Darcy, as you already mentioned, to give you a sense of the magnitude of hiring, in the next two and a half months, we're hiring 60 people. It's not just in the product organization, that's across the whole company, but uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, positions that we're going to be filling, certainly in the next six months. Absolutely. Um, so Mike Griffin, we've got you on the line here. Um, do you want to introduce yourself and share a little bit about what you do here at Sonatype since you are a part of this awesome product leadership team that we have? It sure oh, sells sure. it all. <laughs> uh, li living and breathing it like everyone else here does in their discipline. So uh, yeah, thanks. So Mike Griffin, I, I lead the information security team here at Sonatype. Uh, I've been on board for less than a year. I think I'm right at 10 months or something like that now. Um, Certainly uh, loving working with this team. Um, 
in, in kind of building out and, and continuing to build out the security program here, everything from people, process, technology, and oversight. So uh, mostly I've been handling uh, the team handles mostly in the space of policies and things like that, that most people don't necessarily care for. It's the, you know, the, the dry portion of the security thing. But however, we are definitely moving into the people area where we're training folks, getting to ramp up our security awareness training. So we handle that area uh, of security. And then uh, I think the, the part that's probably most important to the folks here is the technical aspects like as we start to fill out this team and try to keep pace with the growth of this organization and, and the expansion that these teams teams here have uh, is being able to keep up with and make sure that we're not only um, you know testing it as, as normally you would as, as a package product but really getting farther and farther left within the stack uh, from from helping the folks uh, and, and understanding what we're planning to design what we're planning to build uh, and make sure that we have security requirements at the very beginning again it's the the whole you know uh, bake it in, not spray it on type of security. So as we get get farther and farther down uh, to the left of this, uh, we're looking to hire folks that that know code, that can break code, that can help us build out uh, even, even better than we already have our secure development processes and test it along the way. But most importantly, keep it as efficient as possible. So uh, as developers, uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, these stop gates, these speed bumps, those sorts of things. There's less gating and more. It just happens as a process of work. So we're looking to try to, you know, bring on folks that really understand and are really passionate about, you know, building breaking uh, and testing and securing you know, applications, code, everything from the beginning all the way to the end. So once we've shipped a product uh, to be able to make sure that we continuously test it. Uh, so we're definitely looking for, you know, a, a couple different folks in, the, in that area and we'll be getting those posted as soon as possible. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate all that great info. Security. Gotta love the t-shirt. Everyone else, I think we have our Sonotype swag on, um, which is another thing that most employees will get um, after they join the company too. Um, so a couple of uh, things that I wanted to share. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my screen up here. Please let me know when you guys are able to see it. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Thank you. Um, so this is highlighting just a few of our employer awards um, for Sonotype. As I mentioned, people are extremely important to our organization and the growth of our company and having the right people on board. And I think that having won so many awards such as top career launching company, blessed paces to work, top company for innovators, um, I think this shows and speaks to our organization, the innovation, the products, um, the cool and exciting work that we have and the great people that we have on board. Um, so a lot of these were based off of surveys within our own a company of employees. So it's not just an external survey. Um, we are continuing to win other awards. I think Sue highlighted one of our other most recent awards, which was the Fast Company top places for innovators. And we also um, just recently won another top cyber company from uh, Northern Virginia Technology Council. Since we are based out of the Washington DC area, we tend to win a lot of local awards as well. Um, we're very proud of all of these awards and accolades and look forward to continuing to grow them with more great people such as um, you guys on the line. As I mentioned earlier, we've got a few um, of the positions that we have on here, but I wanted to do a quick shout out to our technical recruiting team. So um, if you're going to be engaging with us in regards to one of our open positions, you're likely gonna be engaging with one of these folks who again are part of our technical rec recruiting team. Um, Andy Lloyd, he's been with us for a long time. Um, and so he's based out in Colorado, he's on the line. So if you guys have any questions, he can jump in with some of those as well. Um, Amy, we have a senior technical recruiter. She's been um, uh, on and off with us for the past couple of years and she'll be joining us again. Um, and then we also have Juan Fajardo, who is an HR manager slash recruiter. He's based in Colombia, South America. So we are doing, um, as I think Mike and Sue had mentioned, we're hiring all across the world. We keep a lot of our tech hiring um, to within three to four hours, plus or minus of the East Coast time zone, just for working hours and making things simple. Although we do have 
a big sales and marketing team over in the European and Asia Pacific marketplace. We do wanna also continue to support our customers in some of those other areas. But this is a, the recruiting team, so you can put a face to a name. Um, feel free to screenshot that. Again, this will be in the um, information that we send out afterwards. So um, one of the things that I wanted to do was a quick couple of questions to the folks that we have on the line. Um, I know I didn't see this up with you guys in advance, so I'm curious to hear what the off the cuff responses will be. Um, but when you think of Sonatype, what are the top three things uh, that pop in your mind? Keep it simple. I don't want to limit it to one word, but if you have one word, that's great. But when you think of Sonatype, what are those three things that stand out to you? I can call on people, but if you just want to unmute and go for it, that's fine too. Uh, I would, this is, go ahead, Sue. I can go after you. Yeah, I would just say I'm. There's there are no shortage of smart opinions that people uh, contribute to the conversation on a daily basis, and it can be about work and it can be about things going on in the world, but. Um, really um, some great abstract thinking and, and uh, uh, really great uh, engagement. Go ahead, Dennison. Yeah, thanks, Sue. Um, yeah, the things that, that popped in my head, uh, I agree with Sue, definitely smart, passionate people, um, hard problems, but a, a great organization, great culture. I mean, we, we always you know, work hard and, and, and obviously smartly. But, uh, you know, kind of like just trying to do, do the best to bring kind of like you know, valuable things to the market and then, uh, you know, working with the customers for them to be successful, the kind of impact that we can have, uh, all of those things. I think, uh, you know, you can see that the passion and everybody to, to work on, the, on that mission. I think uh, initiative uh, comes to mind. Uh, and I think it stemmed from the early days uh, with the remote uh, work you know, people coming in, you know, it was necessary as we were a small organization for people to take initiative and, and uh, that has been, you know, uh, retained throughout. I think, uh, you know, we've, we've strived hard to create an environment that where people feel empowered, you can say, well, we empower people, but if you don't feel empowered, it doesn't really matter. But the combination of feeling empowered and uh, making it clear that it's okay to take risk and make mistakes um, and then you have a bunch of people around you that support you, I think is uh, really led to a, a great working environment for us overall and driven a ton of innovation. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, what really catches me about the folks here is everyone is a lifelong learner. Like everyone is interested in something, you know, uh, in something maybe they weren't even interested in yesterday to, I think Darcy's point earlier, or maybe it was Sue in the lounge this morning, someone was talking about gravity and astrophysics and like 10 other people were like, that's awesome. We never thought about that. Uh, but that happens all the time. And sometimes it's really focused on a work problem. And sometimes it's so random. Uh, and we end up with SIG channels like electric cars. Uh, so it's, it's just, it's really, really interesting. I'm looking forward to spinning up the off-grid living SIG channel, just because I know you folks are out there and I want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm going to plus one that one, Christine. I'll jump in with mine. Um, uh, one of the one, if I'm not repeating the, the things that people have already said, is compassion. Um, there's definitely like this empathetic side to all the teams, whether it's, you know, if somebody's lost somebody, if it's, I'm just, you know, struggling with working from home now and people are willing to roll up their sleeves and help each other out or, oh my gosh, my kid's jumping in the back of my Zoom meeting right now. And, you know, we just kind of keep going with it where you just sit there and have a conversation with somebody's child because we're all juggling something right now. So that for me has been something that I love about Sonatype. Um, and then I'll throw out one other one. Um, and it's a line that is, if you know better, do better. And I feel like we all know how to do things right. And we're not sloppy and we don't take a lot of corner cut corners. It's like, we know what good is and we strive for that in everything that we do. And I love that about the company.
Come on, Mike, you're, you're new to the team. I know you've got some few, some good ones. I'll call you out. <laughs> uh, they've been said so many times already. It's just this passionate, cool group of people. But I think, I don't know, I, I get this, this cool sense of uh, many of the folks are, are very driven, right? It's that combination of passion and having kind of a, a will to do something better. Again, it's that constant learner, constant improvement, you know, a mantra that we seem to have here that everyone just wants to do better. And many folks have like a vision for what that looks like, you know, whether that's you know, something that's achievable tomorrow or, or the next day, but it's just, there's just so many driven, amazing people here that it's just, it's uh, it's quite humbling, right? I'm learning something new every day from folks and, and kind of like recalculating. I feel like my GPS, you know, I'm trying to go somewhere. It's like, it just constantly says recalculating. And so we're just kind of constantly learning and, and being very adaptable. And I think that's key also with this team is, you know, our, our agility, right? Our ability to move left, right, lateral, up, down, whatever it is in order to make, you know, make things get done. So it's, it's yeah, it's cool. It's a, it's a great culture, great, amazing people. I, I can't... Uh, can't ask for anything more. I guess I'll go, um, you know, riffing on what Mike said um, just, just now, you know, I think we, we tend to focus, the, the culture is focusing on solving real problems, right? And not, not providing paper solutions that look good on the website and that sound good when you're sold, but things that actually solve the problem. And Frankly, from a product management perspective, sometimes that creates friction because people say they want one thing and we know they actually need another thing. Um, and so walking that line and coming up with the right, right solutions for the problems that stand the test of time um, is a lot of work, but it's fun because you know you've done something that matters at the end of the day, not something that just um, claims to do a thing that people think they want, but, but doesn't really help. So, you know, I think that goes with the stuff that everybody said here, you know, driven, passionate, innovative, all kind of are derived from that, that type of mentality. Thank you, Brian. Um, I think we got all of them. Darcy, if, if, if you don't mind one final thought here, uh, I'd say also kind of like leading by example and, and anyone at any level is a leader and can be a leader, but uh, kind of like, you know, just working closely with the folks here on this call, I'm uh, very uh, impressed and certainly humbled by the, the amount of leadership everybody here displays. Absolutely. I will second that. Um, I know we're getting close on time. I don't think we have a lot of other things planned. So in terms of questions, we're happy to continue to field some of those if you folks have them. Um, I will say in terms of some of the things that you heard and takeaways on why we think our organization is such a great place to work, I think those are embedded in a lot of the values that we have, particularly in the product organization. I just want to read off a couple because they're kind of mirroring what I'm hearing here, which is what you want to hear. But um, it's customer focused, impact, craft, pragmatism, innovation and continuous improvement, teamwork, highly aligned, loosely coupled teams and a distributed workforce. Um, so with that being said, I will um, encourage you all on the line to go over to our careers page. Again, that's sonatype.com slash careers, and you'll be able to see all of the open positions. Keep an eye out on your emails. We'll be sending out an email following the session in the next couple of days. And we'll send out a recording of the full session. We'll send you the link to our jobs page. And we'll also send you a few folks um, who you can contact directly to ask questions. Um, we're here to answer and, and make you guys feel comfortable about understanding who we are and what we can provide to you all for potential job opportunities. And I wanted to give um, another big shout out to our product leadership team. Thank you guys all for showing up here today and sharing with the folks on the line a little bit more about Sunatype. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, so with that, I will close it out. Thank you everyone on the line.